Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Adam, also known as Raf, and welcome to another new video talking between an interview between Tetsuya Nomura and Dengeki from PlayStation. Before we even get into the video, I'd like to thank the KH13 crew for fully translating this from Japanese to English. It must not be very easy for you guys to do it, but thank you guys so much for translating it for everyone in the Kingdom Hearts community. Thank you for all your past translations that you guys have done before as well. We really do appreciate it as Kingdom Hearts fans, and I really appreciate it myself, so thank you guys so much. And you guys, I'm going to read part of the interview, not the whole interview. If you guys want to read the whole interview, go into the link in the description down below, click on the KH13 interview, and you guys can read the whole thing for yourself. But anywho, let's get on to it. Let me explain how this is going to work first before we actually jump into the video. First things first, one, I'm going to read both sides. I'm going to read the question, and I'm going to read the answer that Satsuya Nomura gave. Then after that, I'm going to put my personal input on it so that you guys know what I think and feel about these situations. And once that is done, we will continue on to the next one until we are finished with all the points that I have for you guys today. So I only picked out the best ones. These are the ones that I found very interesting, and I just cannot wait for just, you know, things to actually come out and stuff like that. But anywho, if you guys want to read the whole interview, again, link is in the description down below. So the first question says, You laid out the last scene of Kingdom Hearts Key to us. But will Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key development uh, develop in the same way? And Nomura replies with, that was only the development for Kingdom Hearts Key. The story for Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key will deviate midway to a different story. This is interesting because Nomura has certainly said that there is a Season 2 for Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key. Something that you know, Kingdom Hearts Key isn't getting. And since Kingdom Hearts Key kind of closed, it's kind of sad to see that that everything happened the way it happened, I guess you could say. I find it very interesting because Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key and Kingdom Hearts Key is getting a different turn, which, by the way, I think we do see it as of today for the Japanese release because they just got the Cinderella World, I believe, and I don't think that the Japanese version of Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key is caught up to Kingdom Hearts Key. I believe that Kingdom Hearts Key is actually even further than uh, Archon Key in Japan. So, very interesting. I'd like to see where Nomura takes this. So, I'd like to see where the story deviates, but you know. Next question is, in the latest trailer for Kingdom Hearts Key back cover, there was a figure wearing a black coat, separate from the five foretellers, but dot dot dot. And Nomura cuts him off and strictly says, We've already revealed in Kingdom Hearts Key that this is a character named Luxu. Since he's wearing that black coat, it seems like a lot of people mistook Luxu for the Master of Masters. But they're two different people. The one holding a dandelion in the package art and in the trailer is the Master of Masters. And the other person wearing a black coat is Luxu. The relationship is more clearly drawn out in Kingdom Hearts Key back cover. I've always had this like strange suspicion and strange feeling that ever since we got the first trailer, the people in the black coats were two different people, but a lot of people in the community kept forcing it and kept struggling saying that it was the same person. They're both done by the same voice actor and all this stuff. But in all honesty, I really knew deep down inside it was at least two to maybe even three different people in the black coats. But now we have confirmation that it's only two people in the coats. It's Luxu and the Master of Bastards. So, for anybody who has actually been asking the questions, there it is, confirmed by Tetsuya Nomura himself in an interview. The next question says, since they serve a road to Kingdom Hearts 3, uh, you can't really overlook any of the production included in Kingdom Hearts 2.8. Even among players, there seem to be some people who are just hearing about Kingdom Hearts 2.8 at Tokyo Game Show and seem troubled, but please, we'd like you to play Kingdom Hearts 2.8. Since it is a prologue to Kingdom Hearts 3, just as it says in the title, you'll need to play to smoothly enjoy Kingdom Hearts 3. That is a huge thing because a lot of people who are fans or even new people who saw Kingdom Hearts 3 and saw some of the trailers from 
Square Enix when they went to E3, I believe a year ago, they that they said to themselves that they just need to play that game. That game is going to be awesome. Kingdom Hearts 3 looks amazing and it's going to be awesome. And a lot of people haven't actually played 1.5 and 2.5. I've had friends who actually haven't played either of those and they were like, I want to play Kingdom Hearts 3, but I'm not going to play the stories before that. You need to play all of them. We cannot stress this enough as fans. And even Tatsuya Nomura as the creator, you need to play Kingdom Hearts 1.5, Kingdom Hearts 2.5, Kingdom Hearts 2.8, and if you want, you can play Unchained Key. You can if you want to. You don't need to, but you should probably play it. Alright, so the next question is, in the latest trailer, we got to see a new arrangement of Atari Kari's new song uh, that strained up our hopes. Since I heard that Yatada has returned from hiatus, I thought it was I thought it was the perfect timing, and I requested an arrangement from her. We have yet to decide the main song for Kingdom Hearts 3. So right now, we believe that the Kingdom Hearts 2.8 song is actually fully done. Uh, I believe that the remix one that we've heard in the trailer will be the opening for Kingdom Hearts 2.8, which is so 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 exciting. But right now, they still haven't thought of anything for Kingdom Hearts 3 yet. It's still in the works. Something will happen. Might happen, actually. We're not 100% sure. But I really hope that Yutada Akari does something really good for Kingdom Hearts. By the way, will Kingdom Hearts 2.8 support the PS4 Pro 2? In no more response, it supports 4K, so it should cleanly play without any problems. Anything else detailed about support, we will showcase next time. So as of right now, it is confirmed that it is going to be in 4K resolution, which, quite frankly, I'm not, I don't have a 4K TV, so I'm not 100% excited, but for all you guys who have PS4 Pros, props, congratulations, you guys get that. Uh, the only thing that kind of, or everybody else is kind of wondering is, will Kingdom Hearts 2.8 be in 60 frames per second. We've heard a lot of things and uh, we definitely know that it gets to a clean 40 frames per second, but sometimes it will get to that 30 frames per second. So we are very much hoping to see that the next time we see the demo, it will be in 60 frames per second. And the last question I have is since 2017 is Kingdom Hearts, uh, is Kingdom Hearts 15th anniversary, we're hoping for a lot of developments. Nomura responds with, We are thinking of a lot of plans heading towards the 15th anniversary. Next year's uh, January release of Kingdom Hearts 2.8 will be the start, and from March, the full orchestra world tour will commence. It'll be a year's worth of non-stop Kingdom Hearts news. So we look forward to speaking with you again. Which, wow, that is right there the last sentence right there is mind-blowing it's just mind-blowing non-stop kingdom hearts news in 2017 that will be crazy we already know that there's confirmation that kingdom hearts 2.8 after the game will be released we'll be getting more kingdom hearts 3 renews which is going to be fantastic and i cannot wait to see the Kingdom Hearts 3 news, but now we have bigger and more confirmation that Kingdom Hearts news will be non-stop in 2017. Hopefully Tetsuya Nomura and the crew deliver, hopefully. Uh, we'd like to see a lot more news such as like a collector's edition for Kingdom Hearts 2.8, a collector's edition for Kingdom Hearts 3, we want to see some progress for Kingdom Hearts 3, we want to see a lot more trailers, we really, really, really want to see it. So any of you guys, that's the that's it for this video. That's the whole translation. That's all it is. If you guys did like the video, make sure you guys leave a like and comment down below what you guys thought about the interview. What did you guys like about it? What did you not like about it? And make sure you stay subscribed to the Varaf so that you guys definitely understand and get all the Kingdom Hearts news first. I also have some other videos I can definitely watch on my channel you guys can watch some smash bros videos if you want to or if you are not into that type of thing and you're into anime you guys can definitely watch some of my anime reviews that i've already done or my first impressions for a certain anime i'm doing that type of thing right now so yeah anyway guys that's it for today my name is adam also known as wrath and i will see you guys in the next kingdom hearts 
or any other type of video. Peace out.